When you come round a corner on a trail and find a short, punchy climb right on the exit and you don't have any warning, they can be really tricky. So let's look how you climb these like a pro. I think the first part of that preparation is picking the right line. So here I'm going to try and open up the corner as much as I can. It does tighten up in the middle and that's where the bank goes steep as well. So that's where if you hit that with too much force, it's just going to slow down. So whilst it can be tempting to come in tight, that's what's going to happen. You're going to hit this steep bank here, lose all your momentum. So open it up as much as possible so I can roll out, you know, hit the apex and roll out as early as possible would be great. Obviously, I can't open up too much. It's a big wall here, so there's not a lot I can do about that. If you've come off a quick section into a tight corner and a climb, just like this one, then gear selection is also going to be really important. So in my preparation, I'm looking as far as I can, picking a line, but also changing a few gears and spinning the crank so that it's ready to go. This trail is actually stage four of the Finale Ligura EWS. So racers will be actually riding this stage. Probably a minute and a half, two minutes above is really fast, rocky, and then really technical. And then they come into this section. I've just done that corner and that punchy little climb, flattens off, and then it comes straight into this, which is tricky. This is already dragging up the hill, so you're gonna have to be pushing hard to get to here. Now, this is a very steep part and it comes out of a slight corner. So this really is all about power. If you come in here too slow and don't put enough power in, you're not gonna get up it. You're gonna stall out. You know, you get into a tricky situation now where you can potentially fall back on yourself. So you need to be fit because you need to maintain that power for quite a long way here to roll in with enough speed to get up this thing. Sometimes with these steep sections, I sometimes think about torque rather than power. So nice, smooth, churning the cranks away. It's really grippy on this stone actually at the moment. It's a bit wet, it's almost like sandpaper. So you're not gonna worry too much about the rear wheel sliding on here, but if this was mud, that's when you're gonna have to really smooth out those power strokes as much as possible. Having ridden both types of pedals, I often find actually in situations like this where clips can be a little bit better, you do get that slight pull on the pedal when you are in that sort of critical situation where you just need to put down as much power as possible. And flat pedals, you don't get it quite as well, but that might just be down to my sort of personal preference. A section like this is so steep that you're gonna have to stand up and crank it. Sitting down and spinning just won't do it. Also, yes, pre-selecting the gear, great, but sometimes you might still have to change gear coming up as you're slowing down. The big risk there is changing gear under a load of power is snapping your chain. Whew, it's tough on that, but uh, actually some of that is really easy to repeat, so practice a bit. I did find a better line in the end coming a bit wider on this, just gave me a bit more entry speed, made it just that little bit easier. Uh, you should probably check out the EWSE over on EMBM where they've got power stages. We talk about sort of climbing skills a lot more on e-bikes, but definitely translates to what we're doing on all bikes as well. Thumbs up if you like watching me sweat.